Hey guys, this is Sanket. This video series is about inverse reinforcement learning. It's a very interesting field in, in reinforcement learning right now, and I will explain from basics and will further dig into maximum entropy inverse reinforcement learning and also generative adversarial imitation learning. I will also try to code GANs for IRL if best possible. And but you need to know reinforcement learning to start with the series. So let's get started. So in so in reinforcement learning, the agent has already a reward function, and it interacts with the environment with the action, and then it tries it gets a feedback according to the reward function, and it tries to interact until it has optimal policy that gives him get that accumulates a maximum reward over all its interactions. Whereas, as the name suggests, in inverse reinforcement learning, it's quite the opposite. We already have the optimal policy, which are the expert demonstrations, which uh, which can be collected from humans or even can be machine generated, and which interacts with the environment to create a reward function that could regenerate or could explain the behavior of those experts. So, as you can see, it can have a lot of application as as we can generate human-like demonstrations instead of going always for the optimal decisions. So as discussed, we have in reinforcement learning, we already have a reward function and we get the optimal policy as the end result. While in inverse reinforcement learning, we have expert demonstrations or sample from test trajectory and we get the reward function at the end for which the optimal behavior can be regenerated or can be explained. So the applications of this can be chartboards where we can collect data from humans of how they interact with each other over social media and we can translate this the behavior or the policy of this humans to a chatbot which could generate human-like sentences which can be indifferentiable so it could create a very uh, chatbot that could fool humans and we can also use it for autonomous driving where we can collect data from human experts or human sorry human drivers where we can take decisions as if we can overtake or change lane as given to the environment at how many vehicles are surrounding it and how much space is available and so the advantage of this is it the car our agent will is always going to take expert uh, sorry human like decisions and that's what we need because we can't always take the optimal decision while for autonomous vehicle while driving in between humans and that could be one case and another popular case is robotics so in robotics, we want the robots to behave like humans so that humans get comfortable around. So when the age arrives, where a human goes into houses and be and is a part of the family, we want the robot to learn the behavior of its family members and get and act similar to it. So it's it's a very active field going in Bay right now, and you can like go and see lots of articles on their research field and also DeepMind is working and pub and it has released a recent paper which I will also reveal in the later series. Okay. So you can see like uh, the common question is why is it so hard to like to imitate human demonstrations, why can't we just see if, if given a state the action taken by human is supposed to be one, why can't we just imitate that? Why is it so hard? So I will show you like what the challenges going on, means challenges for imitation learning are. Like suppose there are houses A, B, and C. There is a human and it went from house B to C. And we want to <coughs> have a reward function for this to regenerate the human demonstrations. So the first, uh, 
So for this creature matching, we have almost, we can have two reward. So we can have two reward functions, like going, going away from B. Let's say that is reward function one to C, like going in the left direction from B to C or going away from A. Let's say away from A. This both reward function and going left from B. This both reward function explains the human demonstrations. But it, the thing is we, and it exactly matches the behavior of the human. But we need to select which is the most optimal one. And there are various algorithms which has emerged with, with general, which takes into account like from all the policies that have the same feature matching, which is the policy we can take that is the most optimal one, which we will discuss in the next video. So one common and one of the most popular approach here is maximum entropy inverse reinforcement learning, which I will also derive and explain intuitionally in the next lecture. So thank you for listening.